a deserium number is a number which is equal to sum of its digits raised to the power of their respective positions hello and welcome to knowledge circle everyone today we will see a program in java based on deserium number so let's quickly begin the program okay so i have created a class and i am beginning the code one thing we need to understand here that to uh, make this program we have to do what the very first thing is that we will count the number of digits okay so we have to get the number of digits in the beginning so let's begin the program the class creation is done now we are uh, making the main function after that uh, we'll begin the main functions scope and uh, then the scanner class object to take input from user and then we will provide a message to the user to give the input so now here one message will be given enter a number now we have to see that how many variables are required here so let's finish this message and let's take the uh, let's write the input statement here i'll declare a variable here so after seeing the message user will enter a value and that value is stored in variable n using the next anti method of scanner class now i'll declare one more variable named num to store the value of number given by user temporarily and the same thing i will do uh, in the variable n1 also we need it two times why we need two times that we will see and uh, one variable to count the number of digit that is initially zero and one variable to store the sum of the digits raised to the power of their respective position that is initially zero now this is the first loop while loop which is what it is for the counting number of digits so while n1 is greater than zero c plus plus n1 divided by 10 see so we have counted the number of digits second loop is what second loop is to find the sum of digits okay so while number is greater than zero that is then we will extract the digit using the modulus operator now you have to see this the most important statement is this to check the number for deserium s equal to s plus math dot pow and here what i have written the digit which i have extracted that is the base and the power will be what the number of digit then i have used post fix here c minus minus so every time that will decrease and then the number is divided by 10 in this way when the loop gets over we get the sum of the digits uh, raised to the power of their respective position now at the end of the loop we are checking here if the sum is equal to n means s is equal to n and if it is true then what message should be printed here it should be printed it's a deserium number okay and i'll just copy this uh, statement i'll press here enter else and uh, our program is ready i'll just write here it's not a deserium number if it is false so let's compile the class class compile no syntax error we'll close it and we'll right click void main and uh, we'll give a value and we'll check whether it is 177 175 it's a deserium number we'll close it we'll re-execute the program and we'll go with a different number like let's press here 89 it's a deserium number okay so now we'll give another value which which is not a deserium number enter a number 5, 153 it's 